just in, Trump issues major Christmas alert, conservatives love it. For decades now, conservatives have been complaining that the left has been out to ruin Christmas. Thankfully, now that Donald Trump is in the White House, Merry Christmas is making a comeback. President Trump recently told the Values Voter Summit that we're saying Merry Christmas again. According to Fox News Insider, the president also said that his administration is serious about stopping cold the attacks on Judeo-Christian values. We're getting near that beautiful Christmas season that people don't talk about anymore. They don't use the word Christmas because it's not politically correct. You go to department stores and they'll say Happy New Year, or they'll say other things and it'll be red, they'll have it painted. President Trump's speech was greeted with loud cheers from the audience. President Trump further reiterated that his administration stands for religious freedom and for the protection of America's Christian heritage. In America, we don't worship government. We worship God, President Trump said. These words led to a standing ovation. As can be expected, many in the mainstream media latched onto President Trump's invocation of Judeo-Christian values. CNN writer Dan Merica wrote in response to the speech that, Trump, nine months into his presidency, has found it harder to get things done than the ease with which he made promises on the campaign trail, making speeches to adoring audiences like Fridays in Washington key to boosting the president's morale. This view is at odds with President Trump's view of his own administration. According to Politico, at the Values Voter Summit, President Trump told the audience that his administration is substantially ahead of schedule. We're taking a little different route than we had hoped because getting Congress, they've forgotten what their pledges were. So we're going a little different route, but you know what, in the end it will be just as effective and maybe it will even be better. President Trump's words come just as GOP establishment figures like Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, Arkey are beginning to feel the heat from Republican donors over their do-nothing approach. Similarly, President Trump's speech about Judeo-Christian values comes during the same week his administration left UNESCO over anti-Israel bias. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu praised the decision, and Tel Aviv followed suit by dumping UNESCO, an organization under the control of the United Nations. During the campaign trail, Many Republican candidates criticized President Trump for not being conservative enough on social issues. First and foremost, candidates like Ted Cruz hammered Trump on his supposed flip-flopping on abortion issues. Cruz famously said that Trump represents New York values, a smear intended to denounce Trump as a closet progressive. So far, President Trump has proven these rumors to be false. His administration has pursued a socially conservative agenda in regards to abortion, the Christmas issue, and other issues that are close to the heart of conservatives. Longtime Republican insider Bill Bennett recently made noise when he said that President Trump's cabinet is more conservative than the ones enjoyed by GOP hero Ronald Reagan. If President Trump's recent speech is anything to go by, then this certainly seems to be the case. The case. 